the more the more una put it into practice the more dambi itakuachilia sio kama tunaelewa kwa sababu wakati tunafanya hizi vitu unajua unajua mbona Yesu ana insist sana to focus na hiyo sababu hii atufanyaji practically hiyo ingine matendo ambayo yanatutenganisha na Mungu hiyo hata hatuhitaji unahitaji mtu kukwambia practically unaweza chukiaje mtu but ingine lazima tujifu lazima tujifunze lazima twende class na ndio again mimi na insist na nasema kwamba kuna times ambapo sio kama ime affect mtu hapa kuna siku ambayo unasema unataka kujua Mungu. Ukisoma Bible, ukisikiza mahubiri, ukifanya nini nyimbo, ukikaa katika karibu na Mungu, it is harder for anything to attack you. Sasa ataka zitakuja. It is harder for anything to attack you na utaiona haraka na uta aita kunini, aita auta accommodate. But the Mungu unakaa mbali, the Mungu do not put the word of god into practice hadu tend tunakuwa tu wasikiaji tukimaliza hapa watu ni wasikiaji tunaenda nyumbani nini jua kwamba it is only a matter of time <coughs> dambi sta sta tule mbele na tuta accommodate why because our heart is not filled with the word of god our heart is not filled yani hatutafuti ile pate ni dora ile aliacha nje hiyo kitu ni brother kisha nisema ni through the guidance of the holy spirit ni that wakati unataka kufanya kitu mzuri shetani anakuja na busy as busy but if you really want to do something good you must create the time to do it awezi fanya kitu mzuri juu juu umeamua unataka kufanya kitu mzuri i promise you it will not happen utangojanga nafanya kitu mzuri sijui nikipata pesa nafanya kitu mzuri sijui nafanya kitu no lazima u create your time ndio very good advice ya tumepatia Jonathan lazima wewe u make the decision ndani ya moyo wako useme na hii nafanya kwa sababu ya Mungu sawa dide na na dide out to it ule fanya sanga sawa lazima u make decision ya kwamba this one i'm doing because of god you must create the time bila ku create time you will never do anything au tai utakuwa unasemanga in future in future in future no una crash time sa hiyo ndio kwa ni three aspects mtu mwenye uko naye jirani yako na Mungu kuna bila Mungu mwingine una interacting naye ama unataka kufanya gashago vitu msuri mbona gashago ndio kufuatia Mungu impeachment hiyo tu imekuwa tu wiki nzima hawezi amka nataka kufanya gashago kitu mzuri no your neighbor mtu mwenye uko naye karibu naye na Mungu those are the three Uh, and your what you can do practically ambazo watasema na hii ndio matendo ambayo itasema karibu tumesema practically kwamba ni matendo ni matendo so kama for example unasema ya kwamba um sijui sijui tena sababu gani this um kama ni mke wangu for example lazima ni make time ya kwamba nifanye kitu mzuri kwake lazima ni make your decision inaweza kuwa ina inconvenience inaweza kuwa inafanya nini lakini najua kwamba akifurahi Mungu ame nasema basi but tumekuwa kwa situation mingi ambayo tunasema kwamba nikimfanyia oh si jeta ni zoea oh si tui nini oh Mungu anasema okay it is well sasa if you can't do it for somebody near you how will you do it for the next person see the next person tena utatafuta tena excuse then ikifika kwa Mungu tena utatafuta excuse <coughs> Mungu ka divide commandments and divide commandments into two sio mm-hmm. kama tunajanga hivyo commandment 1 to 5 ndio between sisi na alafu 6 to 1 to 4 or 1 to 4 eh alafu 5 to 10 sisi na binadamu Why mbona Mungu insist sana tukoe na relationship nzuri na binadamu because that is what will be in heaven that is what will be in heaven in heaven kila mtu okay so kila mtu at least part of him mekuja amesema utaenda sio mkisalimia watu ukitaka kujua Abraham sasa utaenda na ubaya tena na chuki tena na wivu ati mbona Mosa amepatiwa mbona kwa yake ni wetu kuliko yao sasa Surely sasa heaven si watakwambia sasa wewe si it was by accident. <laughs> hey. Mm. Heaven unaona 
tunafika ni kama ati wewe oh, tunakaa kwa kiti tikiti yango ni kubwa kuliko yako mm-hmm. mimi mimi unajua mimi nilifika huko kwa sababu nilipitia wewe hata hakuna wewe wewe hakuna kitu yenye umepitia nothing hakuna kitu kama hiyo hakuna time ya asira in heaven there is no time in hell 24 hours yeye ndio time tu uko nayo tu nikukasirika kwa sasa fura fura yenye hell utatoa wapi tulekewa tulekewa tena on sunday mm. tulekea sauti kuna sauti moja hapo umesikia mtu alikuwa sherehe at least moja unasema lakini hata kama wengine wanapiga nduru kuna mmoja nimesikia hapo ni kama yana enjoy yeah mind toka kwa nyumba enda sasa kwa jirani furahia kama mtu amefurahi furahi na yeye genuinely na kama mtu ako na uzuni huzunika na yeye genuinely basi sisi sasa tunataka kufanya vitu fake so we don't put the word into practice kama uivu ndio imeingia ndani ya moyo kwa sababu tuseme ya kwamba hizi vitu hazitafanyika hizi vitu zitafanya nini zitafanyika Mungu anasema practically what do you do next that is what matters to god hakuna kitu kingine kitu kingine utafanya next ndio ndio ni dhambi ama bota mpendeza kusikia vibaya kila mtu anasikia vibaya hapa ama amesikia ngi vibaya eh hey, ni kitu after umesikia vibaya where do you run to where do you run to naweza sikia vibaya na nisema eh 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 na Mungu hapo yenyewe nime nimekosa nimesikia vibaya eh hey. Hakuna nga kitu mzuri kama hiyo ya kwamba unamkimbilia Mungu alafu unamwambia okay Wacha wacha tupeane practical example sasa okay If Gashagua akuje akoda basha Tuseme akuje apatie duro Ni basha na mgeni ni basha kwenye mipangana ni inakani kama ni manoti yake yake kwa live TV ndio 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 kwa tao 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 ni example ndio napenda sawa tao 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 sawa sawa ukisikia vibaya ni dorora mepatiwa the next thing unafanya ni nini tuseme tu sasa tuweke in practice cause generally speaking kam utasikia vibaya but then what where do you run to unaweza sikia vibaya alafu sasa ikae ndani alafu sasa unacheka ngato eh ni doro but ndani how is it na Yesu akikuja anaangalia ndani anasema okay naona sura yako na roho hazi hazi match so you are fooling people but me i'm here i'm wondering na ukifika atakwambia okay sawa hapo ulikuwa unacheka lakini mm cuz the next thing Kristo hapo ni kusema oh, tuache hiyo kitu ya oh unajua time yake nini hiyo si tulitoka hapo oh, unajua mimi pia ndapata hiyo ni kuhaba hiyo ni wivu Next thing you could do is if you run to God God will tell you If if you run to God you will remember that if you are genuine ni Mungu unafaa kupendeze. Na unajua ukisikia vibaya, nani anakasirika? Mungu. Mm-hmm. Na Mungu hapa ni wewe nakosea, ni wewe nimetenda dhambi, tafadhali nisaidie. Mungu si dhalimu wacha aseme, "Eh, sikia vibaya." Na hivyo, nilikumpatia ni Mungu sikia hivyo. No. <coughs> It will bring genuine joy utafurahi ukijua kwamba it is god okay yeah gashoka ni bad example jo yeah gashago tu imetoka wapi but if something good happens unajua ni mungu amefanyia huyo mtu and god does not need to do something good in your life to prove he's good akifanyia mtu kitu mzuri furahi na mtu why because he's good i love you tunaanza na kusikia vibaya because god akufanya ajaifanya kitu mzuri kwa maisha yetu sisi sasa tunakuanga na gate tu kama alimfanyia lazima alifanyie hiyo ni wivu hiyo ni ubaya hiyo ni chuki kama lazima uishi hivyo na mtu mwingine ndio justify Mungu 
Mose the leo wakati una wakati you stay close to god you will always remember wakati unaenda kuingia sijui ni asira unakumbukanga na nikiwa na hii asira si binadamu nitakosea there is a father in heaven mwenye amefanya kila kitu for all of us especially prayer team hakuna kitu yesu hajafanya please oi sijui tutasema aje hakuna kitu yesu hajafanya amefanya ametia bidii yote so wakati tunakasirika tunamkasirisha ye sio binadamu wakati tunasikia wivu ni yeye moyo wake yani unavunjika unasema oi shuali shuali nifanye nini nyingine shuali furai genuineness ni unafurai wakati mtu anafurai unafurai na yeye wakati mtu uko na huzuni unakuja unamconsole that is a genuine christian 